क्या है क्या है It is good to be back with all of you. Took a break, huh? Sometimes you need a break. You go on vacation. You get quiet sometimes. You call it sometimes I just need to detach for a bit. Even if you stay in your homes. It's like in the winter when the bear goes in, hibernates. Regenerates itself. Conserves its energy. Sometimes You need that too. And not just in the winter. Although the time may be shorter. Because when the sun and the warmth and the flowers are out, people are happier. Most people we see enjoy the warmth enjoy the beauty but also some really like the cold snow they like to be by the fire quiet hot chocolate and all of that and yes that has its place so you may wonder why we speak of this tonight each of you and those who may be listening pay attention to how your body talks to you it's usually a gentle whisper sometimes if you don't listen to the whisper it screams a bit more and all of you have had it in many experiences where you listen to your body and you relax you take a nap you take a bath with the salts and so on sometimes you listen sometimes you resist when your body asks you to slow down understand hmm the medium just realized we've never talked about this before you know the elementals that help your world nature well your physical form that you call a body has its own elemental it is it has the wisdom to manage you might call it life force of such but when you listen to your body think of it as the nature elemental helping you know how to care tend to the body the way you would tend to a garden some of you love to be in the garden the plants the flowers you know it takes nurturing for them to become strong and beautiful the same is with your body when you ignore those inner callings we shall say from your body over and over and over as many on your world do 
the being or the energy that you could consider the body's elemental begins to hibernate begins to go quiet because it's like in your world when you're trying to help someone or get their attention and they don't listen what happens eventually you just give up you stop wasting your energy and your time because it's pointless this is what has happened with most of the body elementals from incarnation and incarnation they are with you because they are tied to your energy your energy body that you hmm, you could call your spirit and so it stays with you from one life to another but if it was ignored many 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 lifetimes it might be reluctant to awaken and help you because it knows it will be ignored so why do we talk about this those of you who are more aware and sensitive are awakening to other mm, densities and other aspects of your being understand that the body elemental is part of this you could be awakening and the medium can explain a little bit more but she learned this in one of her classes that she doesn't know how to teach cuz no one here that she knew wanted to learn it so she never took any more classes and we knew she didn't really need to so we didn't push her to do it but she can share later and we will share also we're going to do a little meditation so that you can get the name of your body's element and talk to it just like you do one of your guides like your joy guides like the little child think of it as because it's an elemental it may have a name that is connected to nature hmm? understand hmm? okay so don't be surprised if at first it may not answer just ask in your slumber if you don't get a name this night do not beat yourself up also with your intuition trust the first impression you get you may have already gotten it while we speak cuz some of you like to ask questions and not wait <laughs> that is okay we will still connect the elementals are here and will assist so take a breath settle and ground <coughs> feel the feet on your floor wherever you are connecting to earth mother feel your heart beat that is also connected to the beat of the heart of the earth mother and all life is connected as you know the elemental realm is here
ask by intention for your body elemental to make its presence known and ask for its name and if something suddenly pops in your mind accept it no you're not making it up you asked for an answer from a space of grounded neutrality in your heart just receive and say thank you for all that you have done I will do better to listen I wish for you to help me I am ready for the body's elemental has been with you since you first took a body and some of you that's a very long time and so over all the lifetimes it may have gotten tired of you not listening you just didn't know it was there now it is time to reconnect ask your body elemental to assist your physical body to balance or align or heal an area you need extra help with and perhaps have had issues trying to heal in the past and perhaps not getting as you say getting anywhere ask the body elemental to help you with this and just allow We are holding the space for the work at this time for the other other elemental nature beings are here as well and angelics to support this connection this healing this remembrance perhaps your body elemental will give you a knowingness on how to help as well what you can do like the the bath or the napping or being quiet at times it may take some time for you to learn to listen more to your body but your body not only the elemental but your physical body has its own intelligence it knows what it needs If you think about it your body elemental communicates with the body and then relays those instincts intuitions knowing this is to you at your higher self now it is time for you to practice listening trusting because you walk with this body by choice it serves a purpose 
You could not do whatever work you came here to do without the physical body. So be grateful for it and honor it for its work. And it's divinity. For it is a divine creation by creator. That allows you, the spirit that is you, to have a physical experience. And just as you have all your guides and teachers to help you, you also have this body elemental to help you with your body. And it helps your body. Think of it, ah yes, we like this. Think of it as like a gardener tending the garden. Your body elemental tends to your physical body's needs. You have spirit guides who assist as well different aspects. But the body elemental from your first incarnation agreed to be with you for all incarnations. So it's been around for a long time for many of you and it may have gone to sleep it may have gone and hibernated and basically mm -hmm. said well they're not listening to me anyway so why bother so now you are reconnecting and honoring recognizing what you didn't know was there. And now that you know, you can make a different choice to listen, to work with your body when it speaks to you through this elemental energy. And now that you have a name, if you've got a name, you can address your body elemental by its name and ask, it. One of the examples the medium just remembered is when you're traveling on a plane and you have the uh, time zones and you have the jet lag, you can ask your body elemental to give you enough sleep so that no matter what happens, you feel as though you're completely refreshed and awakened as though you got your seven or eight, whatever it is that you need for you, our sleep. Realize, work with this. Think of it as a new friend relationship that is rekindling. Yes, we like this word. Reconnecting. And just listen, but ask the body elemental to help with your physical body when you're in, I don't want to say unusual, but necessary circumstances that are not your normal, perhaps. But even in your normal day to day, like when you go to sleep tonight, you could ask your body elemental to help your body heal or awaken completely refreshed even if you go to bed later than normal so if normally you get 8 hours sleep or need 8 hours sleep you can ask your body elemental to help you awaken as though you've had eight hours of good restful sleep even if 
technically you may only get four or three or whatever. And it will take time for this connection to rekindle. But the more you listen, the stronger it will get. Just like building a new friendship and remembering an old friend. It's still there. Do you understand? Good. So this is what we were asked to speak about this night. The body elemental has been helping you while we spoke. And now, dear ones, allow your heart to expand and feel your connection also from your crown up to Source, Creator, for you are still connected to Earth Mother through the soles of your feet and your grounding cord. And allow this divine energy to flow through your entire being. Filling your heart, meeting in your heart, the earth energy and creator's energy. Swirling in your heart space and expanding and expanding outward until your whole being is this blended energy raising in vibration yet completely connected to earth mother as well so the energy flows in both directions as it always should for you have a body that connects you to creator through your spirit but also through your body, to Earth Mother. Allow your energy to expand. Allow your angelic energy now to fill your entire space and travel out to the grid around your world by your conscious intention for your spirit to be in a body and also outside by your conscious intention to be aware of two aspects of perception in the same instant. Allow this energy that you carry from Creator through your body to anchor in the grid through your higher aspects as well. And as the higher aspects of you anchor the energies in the grid, medium is sensing gold. Imagine a golden grid of light around your world. Connecting many beings of light at each of the nodes of the geometries. Many, many. Helping to hold the space. And through your feet, you anchor in the energies to Earth Mother, to the grid within your world that you call ley lines. 
as above, so below. For your body allows you to do this. Flow these energies from the higher realms through your body to the earth and humanity. Without the body, the density, the connection would be different. Not impossible, but different. Your physical forms allow you to traverse the realms from a conscious awareness. To feel the spirit that is you. But to also be aware of the dense physical form that is your experience. From this perception of this reality. Allow the energies to flow. Just be the anchors, dear ones. Be the points of light. That you came here to be. Just to be. For your existence affects the vibration of this world. As you anchor more light through your body, through your intention, it affects the vibration of your world. And the collective consciousness of humanity shifts just like a pebble creating a ripple in the water. Or even a grain of sand that seems so unimportant amongst the massive grains of sand. But each grain of sand combined forms the beach. For if they were not together, there would not be a form. So it is the density, the collective energy, in a similar manner, the collective consciousness for those who are working to help humanity as you are. You are those grains of sand that are forming a different energetic consciousness beach. And it affects your world. By its frequency. And it affects all life. Where the vibrations are raised, healed, purified, cleansed, just by anchoring in the frequencies from Creator through your being to this world. So many on your world think they don't impact much by their being here. The light workers, as you say. Just by your existence, you are affecting the frequency. So by your focused awareness on your vibration and what your predominant frequency is during your day, and we are just saying, feel better, 
throughout your day feel more joy or happiness or laughter than you do the unpleasant emotions and then that frequency is what you are putting into your consciousness speech. If you hold more positive feelings, frequencies, that is what you project. That is what you anchor into your world. And each of you have a physical body that is the tool for this work. But your consciousness and your thoughts are your own free will choice. And so you are the creators of your frequency. By your choice on what you focus on, by your choices on how you think, and where you put your attention. So dear ones, when your body asks you to slow down, be quiet, be at peace, take a walk in nature, play with your pets, whatever, listen to it because it is helping you realign and return to the stillness and re-anchor in that frequency where you are now. Getting out of the chaos, getting out of the unpleasant emotions and hitting a reset button of sorts in your frequency. And as each individual learns to consciously reset more quickly when they get off balance, we could say, the easier it will be to hold that frequency that feels good to you longer and longer until that becomes your predominant frequency and the unpleasantness becomes but a memory. You will never forget. Your body will not let you. It is tuned in very well to the emotional scale of frequency. Use it as a tuning fork to change the frequency by your thoughts. You are striking the tuning fork for that is what you all are. You get to choose what frequency you vibrate into your world just as now you are anchoring this beautiful frequency from Creator through your physical form into the grid around your world, but also anchoring it into Earth Mother. And this frequency, if you feel your feet now, the medium's tuning in, feel the vibration in the bottom of your feet. For you do have energy centers in the soles of your feet. When you walk upon your world, these energy centers are always connecting to Earth Mother. You can easily ground, as you always do by intention, through your feet because of this. You are connected. You do not topple over. Remember the body's connection to the earth. When you feel as though you're overwhelmed and such, listen to your body. Listen to the earth. Reconnect and find your stillness. Find your peace. And reset. Does this make sense? I reset the button. Hmm? You use it all the time for other things. You have your own reset button within you. You simply flick a switch in your thoughts to do so. 
You have done it many times without consciously thinking about it or aware of it. We're simply bringing it up into your attention so that you understand that you consciously can choose. You consciously wish to choose versus being unconscious and not choosing from a space of awareness. But you are practicing. So practice. And be gentle with yourself. Ask your body elemental to assist you. To listen to yourself. To your feelings. And to change your thoughts when it is in your best interest to do so. It will take practice. It's a new skill set. Or we should say building on an existing skill set, expanding it. Yes, we like that. Taking it to a different level. So dear ones, feel your bodies. You may feel very heavy, yet expanded at the same time as this medium is. We have been sending and hmm, anchoring much energy through you and within you this night as we speak. And we thank you for being here and listening to our words and working with the angels and the elementals for your world and humanity to anchor in this peace and frequency from the higher realms to assist the collective to awaken to their divine knowingness. Now gently make your way back into the space where you are Take a few breaths to come back into your physical form. Our blessings to you, dear ones. And yes, the four-legged has asked that you remember to sing him happy birthday before you leave. Mm -hmm. it is good all is well washed